Now we have GPT 4.1, mainly focusing on instruction following and long context. And first ever nano model got released. Here is the performance comparison. GPT 4.1, better than GPT 4.0. Also it's better than GPT 4.5 in many of the areas. The cost is also comparatively cheaper. Here is its coding capability, GPT 4.1. Clearly beats OpenAI 01 High and GPT 4.5. And if you are using GPT 4.0 Mini for a long time, now there's a time for upgrade. So all your packages, by default, you can upgrade that to 4.1 Mini, which is much better. Here is Ada Polyglot Benchmark. 4.1's performance double the performance of the previous 4.0 model. Here is a comparison. This is for 4.0 model, the older version. So when tossed to do to create the application, here you can see the application is working and it's able to create flashcards as you can see here, but the design is not that attractive. Here is the latest version, 4.1, and you can see how much better the user interface looks for this latest version. And I really love this. And this is really nice, all interactive. I was able to create this rotation with 3.js and this is very neat and clean. Here is another test for its physics ability and you can test with your arrows also. This is really nice. I can clearly see that it's able to understand the physics behind this. Windsurf states 60% higher than GPT-40 performance on their own internal coding benchmark. Quodo tested this against and better suggestions for 55% of the case. Next, in regards to instruction following, it can follow the formatting, that is XML, YAML, Markdown. So if you request any of these formats, it should be able to return that for you. It can understand negative instructions. You can order a list of things. You can provide a content requirements, a ranking, and also overconfident. And here's the benchmark comparison. It's very close to GPT 4.5. Considering it's price, this is the preferred model. Finally, the most important bit is long context. Now it supports 1 million token. The previous version, 128,000, and that has been for the old GPT-40 model. And this is the key difference for this model, and I really love this. And here's the needle in the haystack test, and you can see all the columns is successful retrieval. And this is much more accurate for rack process as well when this is used with the real rack system. So this can be used to provide a rack kind of system, but using intelligence. Rack system generally retrieves the data based on search or query, but this can process the request and use its intelligence to successfully retrieve relevant information. And here's the needle in the haystack comparison for various models, GPT 4.1 at the top in regards to accuracy. When compared with four needles, here's the performance, eight needles, Here's the performance. So here, GPT 4.1 mini is the orange, and that is also at the top, and this is really nice. In regards to his vision performance, GPT 4.1 is in par same as GPT 4.5, and GPT 4.1 mini is better than GPT 4.0 mini. This is really nice. Even for video long context, 4.1 is better. And here is pricing, and the prompt catching discount is now 75%. Previously it was 50% and the long context request at no additional cost. So here is the pricing comparison, 4.1 for $1.84 for a million token and for mini it's 42 cents and for nano it's 12 cents for a million token. Finally, GPT 4.1 is a significant step forward in regards to real world developer needs, instruction following, and then long context understanding, topping on many of the benchmarks, even better than GPT 4.5 in some cases. Also better at function calling for agentic behavior. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like GPT 4.1, I also create another video about GPT 4.5, which I highly recommend for you to watch to see the comparison. And I will see you there.